stands for boundaryless organizations. Think about it today, an organization is actually an ecosystem. It's not a linear model, my product, my channel, my customer, it's no longer the case. You're operating an ecosystem. Both internally, you're talking about talent marketplaces internally, you become an ecosystem and externally as well. L in blur is limitless digitization, which is all about the line between the physical and the digital and the biological blurring away. Right, so that we've seen during the pandemic, right? So we've seen all kinds of lines blurring away. Today we are talking about humans embedding chips, not potato chips, but uh, <laughs> chips embedded in the body, right? And I want to do a quick test in the spirit of engagement, right? How many of you are okay with that idea, having the chip embedded inside your body? Okay, quite a few of you. Okay, um, those of you who did not raise your hand, uh, what if I told you that this chip can identify early stages of Alzheimer's or some dreaded disease? Would, would your decision change? Yes. Still no? Yes. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> so we, we live in a very divided society. Right? So, <laughs> so that's uh, literally, um, you know, limitless digitization. Where anything that you can think of is getting digitized and people say that it has to be digitized, automated. So that's leading to a lot of data getting produced, right? Here is the other question. 90% of world's information has been created in the last how many years? This is, this is coming from an IBM study. I don't know if they wanted to promote their data science uh, you know, practice, but 20%, 20 years? Five years, last year. So their study showed that 90% uh, of world's information got created in the last two years. But here is a catch. This study was done in 2013. <laughs> now fast forward to 2023, I'm sure we are talking about less than a year, right? So you're talking about Internet of Things, Internet of Humans, 24 by 7 we are creating data today, right? So that's the second powerful force that's uh, operating on us, the line between physical, digital, and the biological blurring. Human blur is unbounded innovation where we talk about uh, today, you know, Grab, the taxi company in Singapore is also a bank. Right? How does that make sense? Uh, or uh, Adobe launching a, a fashion line. Right? Right? So those lines are blurring away. So this is a case where industry lines are blurring. Back in the day, uh, between Canon and Sony, there's a classic thing, right? So if you had to study your market, you just look at what your competitor is doing. But today, digital is a converging force. It brings many things together on one screen. So you never know who's your uh, competitor next day, right? And then R is... Um, any idea what dimension could be blurring there? First is the organizational boundary. Mm -hmm. Second is the boundary between physical and digital. Third is the industry boundary blurring. Mm -hmm. Or, okay, I'm going to give you the, the actual term there. Relentless iteration. What dimension is this? It is a time dimension blurring. And Shiv was talking about it in the morning, right? So time scales are shrinking. Right, and so the now, you and the next, usually you will have a strategy for H1, H2, H3. All of that seems to be happening in the now. So how do you manage that inconsistency, right? Because all of them require different investments, uh, different uh, payback times and all of that. So how do you manage that inconsistency? So now if you take all of these four dimensions and you apply it to the 250 plus companies that have become redundant, you will find that they all be became redundant because of one or more of these reasons. They were not playing the ecosystem game. They did not take data seriously. They were not uh, playing the design game, right? When the industry definition goes away, you're literally following the customer. That's why design thinking became such a big thing, right? So design and uh, agile, right? How do you do things, you know, rapidly in, in, uh, you know, in uh, rapid iterations? So that's really the concept of blur and you can apply this to different industries.